Okay. Write me a poem about cheese. <laughs> the poets are oddly silent yes. on the subject of cheese. Cheese, oh cheese, so luscious and bold. A delight to the senses, a story to be told. What is happening? From cheddar that's sharp to the brie that's soft, each bite is a... This is insane. <laughs> it's writing me a poem about cheese, Thursday. It's very interesting because, you know... And it's you know, pretty good. You know, Virgil doesn't let himself go on the subject of cheese. For anybody yes, is out of the it. loop, no, we're doing good. a bit about Chesterton. I'm sorry, <laughs> the world's about to end and I don't care so much right now. <laughs> Grilled cheese, mac and cheese and fondue. Oh, how versatile you are. What is... Are you not blown away by that? I mean, I've played with this for a while. So, like, yeah, the first time I played it with this, I was like... It wrote me a poem. Like, how did it do that? Ask it. Say, how do you work? How does ChatGPT write work? Write me a poem about Matt Frad. This could be very dangerous. Oh, my gosh. My wife, if she wrote this, this is insane. This is insane. It's writing a poem. And you might think, okay, it just throws in a name and then adds a bunch of text that's unrelated. But in this poem, it's talking about my books and podcasts. This is, everything is changing and I don't like it. Um, ask it, just see what it says if you say, how does chat GPT work? How does chat GP, oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like if I woke up tomorrow morning and this was a dream and I was like, I had a dream that I was talking to artificial intelligence and it wrote me a poem about cheese. And you'd be like, dude, that's crazy. And I'd be like, I know. There's no way that. Okay. Okay. Generative pre-trained transformer is a language model created by OpenAI. It was trained on a massive data set of text from the internet, which allows it to generate human-like responses to a wide variety of prompts and questions. The way it works is by using deep learning algorithms to analyze and understand the patterns in the text it was trained on. When you ask a question or give a prompt, the model generates a response by predicting the most likely sequence of words. Dude, this is too much. Write oh, me a poem. I don't know why I'm hung up on the poem thing, but this is just... Like, poems are hard to write. It's not just information. It's cadence and rhyme. And, and yeah. But, I mean, it's also... Uh, I mean, uh. Write me a poem about whiskey. Amber liquid, bold and strong. Whiskey's flavor lingers long. Aged in barrels, oaken walls. A drink that's loved by one and this all. This poem kind of slaps. Hints of peat and smoky taste. A drink that's never gone to waste. Inhale the scent. Let it breathe. Let the spirit put your mind at ease. Dude. Like, has, has that ever been written before? Write a homily based on today's reading in the Catholic Write a homily calendar. based on today's what uh, reading in the Catholic liturgical calendar. In the Catholic liturgical calendar. I'm sorry. Good. I'm glad you don't know it. Oh, write, okay, write me a, hop. a write poem on the rosary. This is blowing my mind. Bead by bead we contemplate the mysteries of love and grace. Our hands move, our hearts elevate as we offer our prayerful embrace. Okay, I know you don't seem to be blown away by this, but are people in the chat freaking out? Because I feel like I'm in a Twilight Zone show. Everybody's just kind of chilling. This is nuts. We're just all like... Do you, you know, know how many authors are going to try to do this? So this is a big conversation. Like right now, if I contacted Ignatius Press and said, I want to write a book on poetry about Catholic yeah. things. Yeah. They might be like, yeah, okay. You've got a platform that would work. And I'd yeah. be like, okay, cool. I'm going to write a poem about yeah, well, liturgical dance. This is, this is a... All right. Which... In church, we raise our hands to the sky. And with the beat, we start to sway and fly. All right. A couple of people so said like, they're freaking out. But Cardinal, like... um, is it McElroy? Who's a fella from McElroy? San Diego? Huh? McElroy? San Diego? Yeah, he'd like this, wouldn't he? All right. I dancing? mean, let's, let's um, chill. <laughs> write me a poem. Today's, today's mass reading was Matthew 5, 38 <sighs> through 48. Write me a poem. No, not a poem. A homily. A, okay, a sermon maybe? Sermon on uh, the... A sermon's fine. Yeah, okay. On Matthew 5, verses 30. 538 through 48. On Matthew 5 versus what? 38 to 48. 
38 through 48. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, it's doing it. No. <laughs> so my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Right what? So this is the other conversation that's happening right now. <laughs> Holy We have a smokes. situation. We have a situation. You remember like how people freak out when like cashier's jobs or like factory yeah. jobs get automated. Sure. We're now running into a situation where language-based jobs can be automated because the English language is at its core finite and has a pattern by which it is to be used. Oh my gosh. And so, for example, if you trained an AI model on perfect English and it gave, gave it the complete set of English words and then gave it a paragraph with grammatical and spelling errors, the the model can correct those things. This is crazy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe or you're a dingus. What's a dingus exactly? It used to refer to something one cannot or does not wish to name specifically. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to subscribe, but if you did, I'd love it. You dingus. Like the video. <laughs> That's who we're using that one. Take one.